Hey everyone, my name is Arvind. I'm a pre-medical student here in the US. And as someone who doesn't enjoy using agendas, um, I've been really looking for an approach to say organized and productive despite not using one. And over the quarantine, I discovered Notion and it's really changed my life. This to-do list that I'm about to show you is a big part of that. Um, and it was originally inspired by one of my favorite YouTubers, Karma Medic. I discovered it from one of his videos and he cited another Notion pro um, who you might know, his name is Kei He. Um, and he had a whole article talking about this system of getting things done. So I went to the website, but I couldn't find a good template. So I ended up making my own and changing some stuff around um, and sharing that with you here today. So in this video, I'm going to show you the various parts of this to-do list and how you can use it most effectively and also be providing a download link for the template as well. If you enjoy these kind of videos on Notion or productivity um, and eventually other topics like, you know, being a pre-med and other things like that, definitely please like and subscribe. It helps a lot um, and I would really appreciate that. Anyways, on with the video. This is our template and this to-do list is based off of the Getting Things Done framework, which was created by David Allen. Um, and in this first section is where you just jot down everything that you need to do. So regardless of what it is, you're just going to write it down here um, before you start doing anything. And then you have various tabs, um, one context, what project it's for, the due date, um, if you're going to work on it right now and if you've ultimately captured it. So um, I, right here, I have some sample tasks down and I'll show you how exactly I'm categorizing those. Um, and what you're able to do with this template is actually in each of these sub headings in which, which are actually linked databases, um, you're able to see the tasks that are in that corresponding group. So right here um, is where I put all the tasks that I'm currently planning on completing. And so they, they will all show up here. And so I don't forget them. This will automatically show everything that I have due this week. This one will show upcoming tasks that, you know, aren't due this week, but are sometime in the future. And then here we'll show the completed tasks from the last week. So it's not going to show you every single completed tasks because that would be kind of overwhelming, but it'll show you everything from the last week. So um, starting back up here, for example, we'll start with context. So Context, you have four groups here. Um, one of them is computer, phone, high energy, and low energy. So if you can complete the, the task without your computer, you know, you could just put phone down. If it's not related to either of those, then you just need to take care of the high and low energy. So how I um, look at high energy and low energy and how, how it's described in the book is that high energy is really something that requires a lot of focus and continued focus over a long period of time. Um, something that you couldn't complete without, you know, being focused. Low energy is something that, you know, is could be time consuming, but at the same time, it's not very mentally demanding. Um, and we'll go through all these tasks and give you examples of what would be um, particular to different things. So this, for example, is a task for my phone. I could you do that easily on the phone and it's very low energy. Um, email podcast guest. Again, I need my computer for that, though. Um, but it is low energy. I'm not putting way too much thought into it. Um, studying is a high energy task for me. So I definitely will put high energy planning out again, computer, low energy, uh, writing a rough draft. That is very high energy for me. Uh, and need my computer grocery shopping. Don't need a computer or phone. It's just a low energy task. Editing again, very time consuming, but overall low energy. Um, posting podcast promo on socials. That's something I can do on my phone and it is pretty low energy. Um, plan tutoring session with Johnny. I will need my computer for that, but relatively low energy. So now that you have all these categorized like this, what you'll see once we're done filling these out is that you can organize in different settings, in different sections for those particular drop downs. And so that way, say you're like on the bus or something, you can select phone and you can do all the tasks that you're able to do just on your phone. So, you know, you're staying productive here. You have your project. So whatever this thing's related to. So this is um, a miscellaneous task, emailing podcast guests that has to do with my podcast. Um, this has to do with school. This has to do with housekeeping, which is, you know, your general admin stuff for your life. 
and English paper of draft, that's for school. And likewise, you can just keep going and, you know, selecting something for everything. Then what you're going to do is pick a due date. So some of the things might not have a particular due date, but I kind of um, like putting something down. So I'm not just indefinitely procrastinating on something. So call plumber. I just want to get that done today. Um, email podcast guests. I'm going to get that done by tomorrow. Study. I need to get that done by Wednesday. Plan out next semester classes. That's not a very urgent. So I can put that down for, you know, in a, in a week or after a week. This draft, um, we'll say, is due next weekend. Um, grocery shopping, we need to do that today. Uh, edit this podcast episode, needs to go up on Monday. So I will have, have that set for Sunday. And, you know, we're just going to skip those two. So now the tasks that I want to do right now, I will check the on plate um, checkbox for those. Um, if it's something I want to put off for later, all I have to do is just hit capture. And it's going to hit cap after that, it's going to disappear from this list right here. And it'll show up on, you know, this this week part right here. So eventually, you know, you're going to capture all of these. Let's say I want to do this, you know, right now I want to work on that. Um, and I want to start or doing a little bit of studying today. So I'll put those under, you know, right now. Um, and maybe let's put grocery shopping. We need to do that today. So everything else you know what well, we can set for later so i'm just going to check captured for everything and they're all going to disappear from this scratch pad right and so now this place is empty for you to put new tasks in so here you have again you're on my plate and so these are the things you're working on right now um, and the particular due dates as well as a checkbox for done so once you hit done so let's say we just went grocery shopping it will disappear from here and you'll see it in this completed section right here and again, it's really, really intuitive, I think. Um, and it's very easy to organize. Here you can see everything that's due in this week are gonna sh is gonna show up here. So you know the things that you need to do right now. And then your upcoming tasks come up over here so you can keep an eye out on things you have to do later. So all in all, I think it's a really cool system and it's really helped me stay organized. And I really you know, appreciate using this to-do list. And again, I'm linking the template down below. Um, all you need to do is click on that link and it'll allow you to import it into Notion. And then you'll have this and you can customize it however you want. Say you wanna change these project tabs, you can easily do that. Just click, click these three dots here. You can rename whatever you need to rename and you're really set and you're good to go. So that's about it. Um, maybe one more thing I'll show you. you. Like I said, you can organize based off of energy. So something that's high energy, you can pick that. Say you are, you know, on a train or something or some place you don't have a computer, hit phone. Um, and if you had any phone tasks, they'd come up right there. And yeah, that's about it. I hope that helped and feel free to leave any questions that you have down in the comments below. That's all for now. And I'll see you in the next video.